<laughs> this is one rare puppy. Tell me the last time you saw a dog even walk on wet grass, let alone take a dump in the middle of a hurricane or a microburst, which they last for five minutes and they are super dangerous. This is one impressive dog. Speaking of impressive dog. That trains are fast, boys, but they named a bus after me! If you guys were wondering what bus was named after this dog, this is supposed to be a greyhound. Greyhounds are known for racing. If you guys can let me know in the comments down below, is this a greyhound? Because I used to work at a vet's office. Whenever they would get sedated, they don't come out of sedation very well. I was in there for with over a hundred pound all muscle having to hold their heads while they were slamming me into the wall because they were just completely out of it. Full grown huge dogs. If you've seen these dogs in person, that's why I question whether this is a greyhound is because it looks thinner. Like it might be a different breed, but you have to put your hand into the dog's mouth because this dog is completely, completely out of it but so they don't bite their tongues off it's crazy by the way the bus is greyhound if you didn't catch that i'm dog sidious wow terry that was incredible you're gonna nail this audition can i get your autograph before you're famous you think you'll meet natalie portman sorry but that uh dark sidious <laughs> if you guys were wondering these dogs are called, just like blue healers and border collies, these are very smart dogs. Uh, what is the breed? It is a dog that looks like a fluffy fox. A, oh gosh, I always, Shiba Emu pronouns. Shiba Inu. And out of curiosity, curiosity killed the cat as they say, while we're watching dogs. Every time that I've seen this dog, it's always been on YouTuber or a vlogger's hikes and stuff like that. Shiba Inu, for those wondering, is Japanese meaning brushed wood, which makes sense because he does look like he has treated wood. Nice sturdy little guy with a little bit of a tint of gorgeousness. So let's go to the next clip. If you guys have any more questions or you know anything more about these dogs, please let me know because I love dogs. I wanna go to the dog park. Wanna go to the dog park. Official name for Pitbull. You don't even have to finish typing it and it knew what I was gonna say. Pitbull is not an official breed. It's actually a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier. Terrier is a breed recognized by United Kennel Club and the American Dog Breeders Association. Okay, well, there you go. So there should never be breed bans. There needs to be owner bans. Hey, Evan, what are you doing in here? Oh, you taking a nap? Okay. <laughs> Can we take a second and just look at Evan? I'm sure he's awake, but man, he is passed out hand on the ground. What a little cutie, that little nugget. One dog that I will never get is a, is it a French Bulldog? The reason why I say that is because dogs like Shih Tzus, Lhasa Apsus, Boston Terriers, English Bulldogs have horrible breathing capability and they can have a lot of issues. The other things are eyes that bulge out. That's also a problem even in um, Chihuahuas. There are just dogs that I just would not get I wanna go to the dog park like the um pug pugs or other ones ten breeds similar to the Boston Terrier ready and go French Bulldog pug no that's the Brussels Griffin the Brussels Griffin, he's got a little beard. He looks like a little, he's so cute. Pomeranian is also very cute, but a lot of health issues. Hope you guys are learning some things. Not just laughing your asses off. They're not extinct! Jurassic Park is real! Okay, that right there, if you guys don't know, is a long-haired chihuahua. And that is a fast, Fast running chihuahua. I've never seen a chihuahua run that fast in my life, but also that person is doing a fantastic job <laughs> in grass going uphill in Jurassic Bark. That dog looks happy to be quite honest. I mean, seriously, he looks, he looks so happy. My name is Cotton and I'm trotting to a yacht I bought in Scotland. Oh yeah. Cotton and I'm trotting to a yacht I bought in Scotland. Oh yeah. Cotton. Cotton man, what are you? We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna back up so I can search his fluffy butt. White, floofy dog breeds. that work. Cause he look, I mean, okay, so chows are going to be orangey. I'm trying to think of the name of that. Cause he looks like a Samoyed, but he also looks like an Eskimo. He's too small for a Great Pyrenees. Maltese and all those are way too small. I'm wondering, I'm gonna watch his body language. Oh yeah. Okay, so he is probably a Samoyed. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, that's not how you say it. Yeah, well, 
get on here and pronounce it right. Pronounce it. Pronounce it. Heh. <laughs> get on here and pronounce it correctly in the comments. Okay. Trotting in, I'm trotting to a yacht. Somebody has some serious music bass. Have you ever heard bass from a vehicle that's like so loud it makes your scalp tingle like hairs are standing up? I'm just cotton and I'm trotting to a yacht. I bought a Scotland, oh yeah. Seems that there's no like names on the yachts back there. I'd like to know some of their sarcastic names. Like a real broat, but it's spelled like R-E-E-L, like a fishing reel. I hope you guys can't hear that bass. It's rude as hell. But yeah, so I'm thinking that he is a Samoid. Samoid. Breeds look like a Samoid. American Eskimo dog. He's small though. This guy's big. He's called an Eski. And Samoids are called Sammies. I mean, this looks like a Samoid with his hair cut off, unless this is a Husky. I would really like to know. I don't know where Dusty Dubs got his clips from. I've tried looking them up so I can find the original video since there's no credit that I can find on his video. So if you guys can figure out what kind of dog this is, cotton, that's trotting to a yacht he bought in Scotland. Oh yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. And last, but very much not least. I can show you the world. Yeah! <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do this for you guys. I know it's 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 a little it's a little messed up, but at the end of the day, appreciation will be given. I am slow mowing this. He's like, hi daddy. Is his tail even wagging? Oh, he has no idea. Oh, what's happening? He's probably still looking directly at him. And then you're like, okay, the, the rug flipped over on him. But then you can see right where his little body is and it is. Oh, there's his paws. You can see the paws indenting. <laughs> he went for a tumble. <laughs> Which that right there was also a chow. And that chow looked like Gosh, that was an older chow. Poor buddy. Poor buddy. He's fine. Puppies are resilient. He probably had a little tumble. Daddy went to go grab him and was like, you're fine, bud. And he's just like wagging his tail like, thanks. <laughs> I can see it. He's fine. If you guys like videos like this, I don't need to be broken down, but I break them down anyways. You guys don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that way you know the next time I upload one of these randomly breaking down videos kind of video. Until next time, don't forget to laugh and analyze what you're looking at. Just don't take it at face value, okay? That's what Google's for. At least you don't have encyclopedia like we used to have. My name is Cotton and I'm trotting to a yacht. I bought this cotton, oh yeah. You're welcome. 20 minutes of just random. <laughs> <laughs> Protein. Fiber. I can show you the by the way, the dog that had the long hair that everybody thought was a human before they went around and saw the, the dog face, called an Afghan, literally. That dog is an Afghan dog. You're welcome.